Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, I am the manager of Manchester FC, and in today's episode we take on San Jose, the league-leading undefeated team that uh, was responsible for our largest loss of the entire series by beating us 5 to nothing when we traveled to San Jose. Now, we have a history with them, so they knocked us out of the Cup, the Liberty Cup, not this year, but the year before. And in that one, they beat us 4 nothing in San Jose, but when it came back to the East Coast, we actually managed to pull out a 0-0 draw. So, to all those who don't think there's any chance of us getting anywhere with this team, you might be surprised, but they are an incredibly strong side, and... We have a slightly weaker team than we've had before, mainly because uh, Edge has been replaced by Thacker. Now, we also have the issue of McQueen, their defending midfielder. He's incredibly strong, but not exactly... Yes, uh, and we've got Olsen is going to move over there. So we do still have a fair chance, I'd say, of getting a result we're looking for, but it might not work out the way I hope. One thing I've been considering recently is uh, making it so that Tompkins takes Dickinson's place in the lineup, and I think that's what I'm going to do, because Dickinson is now 33, he's not going to be, he's not going to be on the team for much longer, since he's going to turn 34 in March, and Tompkins is 30, so he still has room to grow, and has done really well for us in the time, including filling in for Dickinson earlier in the season, so I think that's going to be a permanent move starting with this game. Here we go. San Jose versus Manchester. We're still looking to climb into that top five, specifically the four or five spots, since uh, third is a little ambitious. And we're going to need all the help we can get. And it'll start maybe by scraping out a point or maybe even three against San Jose. Here we go. Manchester versus San Jose in Manchester. Do the lofted pass, and it goes to Sloan, unfortunately. And Calvert's not exactly the best at tackling, and is n is unable to get anywhere there. So Thacker's going to move up, get some more some more of that specialization upgrade. Now that pass goes offline for bowling, and then Ashley moves up to get it, and Ashley goes for a long shot. Not entirely sure what the reasoning was for that one, but he did it anyway. A shatter. Is just going to do a regular pass to O'Keefe, and O'Keefe is going to hold this one. Try and keep it away from Bowling and Ashley. Or McQueen, as it, as it may happen. McQueen comes up and takes it away from O'Keefe. I always forget about the defending midfielder being able to move so far. So McQueen has great control, especially now that that's happened. So Roman is going to press, and O'Keefe will go for the tackle and actually manage to take it away. I wasn't expecting him to get it, but they're going to take it right back with McQueen, but what's he going to do with his move this time? And he passes to Ashley. Now Thacker actually, well, has the same defense as O'Keefe, and goes in and isn't able to take this one, so... Triplet in the box is very dangerously placed, and Triplet on goal against Hodges. Here we go. 
And Hodges saves that one. What a play. Can Ashley come up and take that? Yes, he can, and that's exactly what he's going to do. But Shatter goes for the tackle and fouls him, receiving a yellow card in the process. Oh, here we go. Uh, Tompkins, Doss, Shatter going to move over and guess I guess Thacker's going to move out on the wing. Not much else we can do there. Bowling takes that triplets moving over there and the pass gets past the wall to Ashley. Ashley on goal and the rainbow feint does not succeed. Hodges having himself quite a match to begin there. So Thacker, Thacker is going to do the lofted pass in the direction of O'Keefe. Doesn't quite get there, but O'Keefe's going to take it. McQueen will probably take it right back as he does. What's his plan now, though? The lofted pass goes out of bounds. Shatter. Gets the ball, could go, and is going to go for the long pass over there. The lofted pass doesn't get to O'Donnell, unfortunately, but Olsen can go for the tackle and manages to take it away. This has been very... San Jose's has... San Jose has had their chances, but... Nothing's really come of it, and Manchester's holding strong so far. I'm gonna have to see if that can continue. Ashley gets the ball. But O'Keefe can press without giving it up. And Roman goes for the tackle, isn't able to take it. And Thacker is going to move in the way over there. And that may just have to do it for the moment. Um, don't particularly want Triplet just to be able to move in, so Tompkins is going to move into the box. And he's going to move right back out. The pass gets to, to Triplet. Goes for the shot and scores to put San Jose up one to nothing just at the end of the half. It was a good stand on defense, but it didn't work out this time. Calvert gets the ball. He does have the break in skill uh, and could also go for the cross. He's going to go for the cross. Gets by, but Olsen's header is saved by McRae, and that is going to end the half. Manchester conceded a goal just at the end, to, and San Jose enters leading one to nothing. This might be another game that I get Greer in for, just to give him more experience, since we haven't really been using that side of the field anyway. Here we go. What are they going to do now? It gets past Thacker, who's now motivated. Triplet goes for the shot and scores from long range to put San Jose up two to nothing. Our defense held up for a good long while, but the floodgates may have just opened. The pass does not get to Calvert. He's going to get that and hold it for the moment. Trying to keep it away from Queen or from Sloan. Sloan easily takes that one away, though. The lofted pass goes in the direction of Triplet, but doesn't get to him. And he goes up and takes it. Doss isn't able to take it away on the tackle attempt. The slide tackle from Tompkins doesn't succeed. 
and Thacker will move up a little bit. He doesn't have the automatic press, unfortunately. And Ashley gets into the middle. The pass gets to him. It might they might be going up three to nothing. And the shot is saved by Hodges. Hodges passes to Shatter. Shatter. Could get one towards it's that one to O'Keefe. He's going to do a lofted pass, and it's intercepted by Sloan. The next pass gets past O'Keefe. And the next pass gets past Tompkins, and now triplet on goal. And Scruggs knocks that one away, and then moves to get it himself. A long pass gets to Roman. He does a false kick to get Parks away. Passes past the defensive midfielder and the forward. And Calvert's going to hold this one. Sloan ta goes for the tackle and fouls Calvert. O'Keefe is going to take this one. Calvert's going to be in the corner. Olsen will move in. That's an unlikely one to work. So O'Keefe is just passing to Calvert. And Calvert could go for the break in. Or the cross. He's going to go for the cross again, and it's off target. Pass to Bow, goes offline. He takes it, picks up field, and doesn't even go for. That. So, Thacker will go for the unlikely tackle, isn't able to succeed. Roman is then going to move in the way, potentially, of any passes. Not that it does anything against someone with 70 passing. And the shot gets past Hodges and Scruggs for the third goal. We're going to sub in Thornton for Shader. And we are conceding this game to San Jose. They're a tough opponent. Very tough opponent. The pass does not get to Calvert here. Olsen is going to take the ball and go for a wild shot that has no chance of success. And how will San Jose finish off? Will they go for a fourth goal? It seems likely. Bow gets the pass to Triplet. Triplet goes for the shot and scores again. I believe that's a hat trick for him, if not four goals. I for yeah, that actually that might be four goals for him. And now we're going to try getting it to Greer. Who hasn't had much of a chance to shine thus far. He's going to hold it. Bow goes for the slide tackle, doesn't get it away. They're going to bring over McQueen. And McQueen isn't able to take it away, so a good good final like minute or so from Greer. But overall, a rather rough game for Manchester. A 4 nothing loss here. Thacker does level up. Hodges, Shader, and O'Keefe are our men of the match. And we got an upgrade for O'Keefe, who's 31. He's already trainable and set his skill. We're gonna get that training time down. Now it is under a year until he's done with the second level of interception. And we lost another 12 fans. They're not liking the losing there. So here we go. Louisville tied Providence, 3-3. 
Topeka beat Montgomery 3-1, Jackson beat Boise 1-0, Little Rock beat Montpelier 2-0, and Concord beat Columbia 2-0. So we remain in 7th place, and now we are more than a game behind Little Rock and Topeka. We need some serious help, and we've got to finish strong. Although our next game is against Little Rock. Hopefully that can, that can start another rise up the standings. But we need to beat Little Rock and then we need to beat Jackson in order to even dream about fourth or fifth. And again, we need, we need Little Rock to lose both of their next games. I don't know who they're playing other than us, but it starts with us beating them in the next game. I'm still liking where we are. It's not exactly where I want it to be at the end of the season, but, well, things don't always go your way. Let's take a look at who's going to be joining us next season. Augusta, Billings, and Baton Rouge are likely to be the ones joining us. Fargo, team we sold Edge to, has actually dropped further down, despite three assists from Edge that have helped them out. In the second league, looks like Birmingham, Newark, and Hartford are going to be relegated down to us to replace San Jose, Concord, and most likely Providence. The first league, Las Vegas, Minneapolis, and Cincinnati are winning there. The second league, it's Sacramento, Salt Lake City, and Jacksonville. In the Premier League, Washington, D.C. is still holding dominion over that with New York City, Chicago, and Los Angeles in those next few spots. In the relegation zone are Boston, Seattle, and Denver. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Well, I, I hope you join me next time as we continue to wind down on the second season of Manchester football. It's been a good ride, and I'm looking forward to season three, which will hopefully be a little more consistent in quality from our players. Anyways. I hope you had a good time. Please like, subscribe for more content. Have a great day, and happy gaming.